Today I got to do something a little different. Dragon Squadron recently did their hammerhead test again with Captain Zest and the crew of the Scimitar that we fought against. This time we had a bit more weight on the bench, we really put the hours in, we trained hard, our comms really good, and we won the day. Now in this episode, me and Captain Zest sit down and we discuss the battle, you know, the challenges that he faced, uh, and some of the future of PvP when it comes to mixed fleets in the verse. So sit back, enjoy, and I'd love to hear your feedback. Remember to click that like and subscribe. We were having some comms issues with my rear gunner, which was making it really hard to shake. I think it was you who was yeah. staying right on my six. It um, was, and we'll see that right here. Let's go, let's go to it. Yeah, so I couldn't shake your ass, and especially without that rear gunner to deter you. Um, I was pretty it felt, it felt, yeah, it, it felt odd to us, and we, we comment on it, actually. You'll see it right here. Dragon 3, Fox 1. He's going to eat him. Oh, he deco- he, okay. He's eat him. Flared, flares. It looks He's like running. he put out a chaff field. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He's running. Do not let him disengage. Get on him. Moving. Or he's engaging. Back in. Good job, Johnny. Way to stay on top of him. Good job, Johnny. Ooh, some desync. Dragon 3. We're good. Dragon 3, 5. Having standing people and not my regular crew. So when you came at us, I mean, I was communicating hey we got a hurricane right here can we try and get rid of him um you know half of my gunners had never been with me before uh, yeah. so communication wise they know our call outs um so when i was saying you know he's going port to starboard they were like going where i'm like oh my god no <laughs> oh my god a green crew right i've actually commanded hammerheads before so i feel your pain there i was gonna say so my gunnery officer actually normally is in the top turret um and yeah, from yeah. the turret he's able to pin targets i didn't know that i've tried that before they must have fixed that somewhere it's been a while since i've done it, it was like 314 i think was the last time i really um commanded a hammerhead so nice oh that's so fantastic because that is the critical role is pinning those targets and then that gunnery sergeant calling out for the starboard port gunners and the tail gunner, etc. Oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we need a rematch. So, we need a rematch. We need a rematch. I mean, with, with me flying, it's difficult for me to keep track of every target as well as pay attention to my shields, as well as pay attention to the missiles, as well as pay attention. I mean, you get very overloaded when you're flying. I agree, and uh, like that. Even with a two man right squad, right? Like it is actually, you have to call out for your gunner. Archie and me have started getting that synergy now. I've been really lucky to get uh, Akinar as a regular, steady, uh, very reliable gunner, right? He shows up. He's now picked up a bunch of new joysticks. He's got his, uh, I think, VKPs or Verbals. He got, I can't remember. Maybe v v v VKPs. Um, so yeah, his gunnery in this one improved. We also practiced hardcore because we were so so down after that first loss it was a good engagement though that first one and like really showed off like you can see the difference and we comment on it here soon too actually so i'm gonna roll the tape here you good yep go back to it oh, all right damn it Just rotations Fox one. dragon actual fox four Right, Keep on them, guys. That roll. Dragon, slow. Dragon, dragon. Oh shit! They just dragon blew three. up. What the hell? So I'm gonna pause here too for one thing. One, you can see if you look at my displays, you can see you just started to get your rear shield starting recharging. So you almost got a reset at one point here. I noticed it in my rewatches. So I, I was trying really hard to reset the fight. Um, one of the other problems I really ran into with running, um, so two were people that aren't even in fleet command at all. They just wanted to tag along and kind of see, you know, what it was like. Um, and then, like I said, one of them was from another ship. 
one of the things that really hurt us is my gunners that are my normal crew have gotten pretty good at shooting down missiles. Um, this yeah. engagement, you guys ran me out of flares way too fast. Um, that was Kanga. Right. Kanga came up with that strategy for this one. And he was sitting on the edge of the fight the entire time. He came, set his sentinel up with just size ones, right? So he was going to keep on pinging you until you ran out. And then once you ran out, Ed was calling it out. And then they just started winging missiles at you. At one point, I had 16 missiles coming at me at once. Um, yeah. Yeah. In Kanga's view, yeah. you see it too. It, it is actually pretty impressive. For mine, you don't see the missiles as much because I'm too close to you, but you do see them occasionally on the edges. Um, you see what so on the radar was, right there. You guys really focused on that. It, I mean, the green crew. I mean, there was nothing I could do about it. Yeah, your green crew. So the opportunity you guys had, I think, to honestly turn it is when you separated and I followed and I got separated. But if your crew was not on point to take me out, and if they had to take me out, I, then. The ions, I think, would fall pretty fast to you, honestly, like they did last time. You could onesie twosies them. Um, so I am very interested in doing another match. So let's let's do um for the most part, you were honestly our biggest threat. Um and my gunners coordinated on you was such a struggle um with them not being familiar with our call outs. Um Yeah, it was rough. Yeah, I could feel it too because I felt a big difference between because last time on the first fight, anytime we any of us got close to you, we got focus fired. This time we could get close yeah. to you without getting focus fired. It was all over the place. Yeah, definitely. I'm still gonna take the win. Like we're still taking the win. <laughs> it's still one to one, right? Uh -huh. Like uh -huh. that's okay. That's okay. We still have to get the final showdown. All right. We'll we'll see what happens when I get my full crew again. Exactly. We're gonna wait for your full crew again too. And personally, I like to do this one planet side on a place like Daymar or something like that. The last one. Oh, planet side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you, uh -huh. you want me to lug Big Bertha in atmosphere? Yeah, anyway, I mean, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it hammerhead out. in four minutes. Yeah, it was good. It was good. It was a good one. We practiced hard for it. Having Dev Dev there too, you'll see in the, here, right? Um, Dev Dev talks about later about the rotation that we had going on. You know, we did have a rotation going where we started anyone who got hit would then pull out and then come back in right after shields regen. So I'm gonna I'm gonna flip it back on. Nope. We'll watch the rest of it here. Sorry, you're Did dead. You Clear comms. It's okay, bud. Sorry, we'll find out later. Sorry, bud. Stay on him. Yep. Dragon three. Box one. Yeah, he broke contact on me. Shields front and back are down. Let's push. Time to push. Push, Keep those guys. Up. Keep Dragon's those rush. Up. Dragon three. Yeah, as you can see, I was actually wrong. Front shields weren't down. I didn't notice at the time. Yeah. That was my own bad call out. But it, they yeah, were Yeah, so the front shields are hard to tell because of that shape of the hammerhead. Yeah. Front shield heat, rides right on the nose. Panicking right all over the place. The Toby head tracker. I love my Toby. Oh, so good. Do you have one? Oh, uh, yeah. I yeah, I couldn't fly without it, man. I, I'm not sure if uh, Edsel was asking me about it. We did have one um, positive kill from one of my front turrets. Um, that must have been Star, then, because he was the only one that died. And it sounds like it was a desync one all around, because he was, yeah, for him, um, he saw a totally different event. For us, we killed him. His name jumped about four clicks away from us, and then he died. <laughs> oh, star citizen, we love you. All right, let's let's watch this up. We're almost done. He's running. Fox Dragon One, Fox Three. Do not let him get away. <coughs> He's deployed more countermeasures. Dragon Three, Fox One. Yes, stay on him, guys. Good job. Am I going? No, I'm going the right direction. He's just going that fast. We're on him. Good job, Archie. Dragon Three. Box one. Sorry, guns. You're not having a lot of fun with this, but I'm a long range boy. It's okay. Oh, what happened? Three, uh, four, 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 yeah. oh. One thing I did want to comment, and I think I say it later on in the video too, is I compliment you on your use of uh, of the noise. You do it a bunch of times really well in open space and actually get us to break 
uh, sensor lock on you too. It was actually very, very impressive. As much as I could, um, knowing that you were on me and not good coordination with my gunners. Um, I mean, I was really trying to shake you guys as much as I could. Um, I mean, you guys had the speed and the maneuverability over me. So yeah, that's when and I we were using the noise to try and break your contact with me at least for a second and try and reorient which way I was going. You did it really well for a ship that big too. It actually happened a bunch of times throughout the fight. Uh, this one, I was already on the other side of the cloud with you, so I was able to re relock onto you again pretty quickly. But yeah, I was really impressed for a big ship like that. You're definitely one of the more uh, aggressive and, like I called you, the brash Captain Zesk that I've seen with a Hammerhead pilot, and I'm really looking forward to flying with you because you're an eight-man crew. We run about a six-man you know, wing. That's 14 people on the server. That's a good chunk to go up and engage with people. And I guarantee you, most people in the verse have not met a combined armed fleet yet. Here we go. One gun. He... We're back on him. Got him targeted. Oh, sorry, Dev, Dev, if I flip back there. three. You're good. Box one. Oh, shields. I got I to gotta repair shields. Breaking. Oh. It. We're good. Don't you die on me. Coming back. I got three. Fox one. All areas, stay on him. I'm front landing shots. Front shields and back shields are down still. Missiles are hidden. He Damn is it. out of the... Oh, no, no, never mind, never mind. He just fired noise. I was going to say, he's either eating those missiles or he's got... Nice work, that's I think his rear turret's fucked up. Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. I'm like, nice work, man. Like, Yeah, Um. so like I was saying before, I think one of the biggest problems of this engagement is once you guys got behind us, um, the guy who we did have in our rear turret, his comms weren't working properly. Um, so communication there was really broke down. So trying to deter you from staying on my six was almost impossible. And we got your shields down. Um, you flew on my port side. That's where I had both of my um, typical players at. Yes, uh, we were talking about this on private chat before that I noticed that one side of your gunnery was tight and one side was weak, and that really did affect the engagement. And it's interesting point, actually, that doesn't come up a lot with capital ships is that, you know, the quality of the gunnery really freaking matters and the people who are able to pre-aim, too. Because if you do get, the you know, someone who's doing the corkscrew in and, like, multi-vector in so that they can kind of pre-get out of the shot by the time it reaches them, they have to then pre-aim. And it seems like your your experienced gunners understand the pre-aiming, whereas the newer ones are just following the pip and don't realize that they might have to aim a little bit ahead of the pip. Looks like they're not hitting, but by the time I'm in that spot, their bullets will actually hit me versus me avoiding them. Um, a lot of stuff has changed. Um, the reason I fly the hammerhead the way I do is I also run a slightly different loadout than a lot of people. Um, so my two front turrets are cannons, they're M6As. I have to cleanse. They actually have less range than the rhinos do. Um, I have that need to close the distance as fast as I can. Preferably going against larger targets, I actually like to keep my top or my bottom against them, because I can get all turrets plus my top or my bottom on a single target that way. Yeah, yeah, that is a, a sign of a good hammerhead pilot who knows how to orientate the ship to get the maximum guns on target. No, well, I'm with you. I like your style. I'm looking forward to Dragon working with you more. All right, let's 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 watch the last little bit here. This clouding, though, was really impressive. I haven't seen a shoot in a while. Three there, guns. Dragon. Dragon three feet. Fox one. He is de he is deploying as much chaff as he can. Yep. There goes more noise. Hit missile hit hit it. Dragon hit. three box hit. one. Hit guys hit. push. He's red center red. Dragon three center red box one. Dude, I'm inside of this man's he's asshole. He's decoy nice, tied. Nice, Dev, everything Dev. you've got. Preparing to launch uh, volley. Dragon on, volley. Three. Volley. Taking hits. I'm moving away. in on pull back, Dev. Sure, on him. 
Solid hit on missiles. Dragon three. Fox one. Oh no, yeah! Boy. Boy. Woo, flash. Flash. Yeah! Flash one. And that's it. That was the end. It was a good fight though, man. A four minute engagement time actually for the strength of our wing. It really does show how good of a pilot you are though. Because on an AI one, this one would have killed it in like two seconds. Literally, I think we did it in 10 seconds, I think, right? So, you know, bravo to use us. This was really a good engagement, and I, I loved it. Like, it was our win. It felt good for us. I still feel, you know, I agree with you that we, we brought a really heavy wing to it, and I'd like to do our light fighter wing, and maybe our, uh, our, our warlock sentinel EMP attack on you at some point, too, and see how that goes, and how we can help defend you against that, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I definitely think the final overall, thoughts, yeah. uh, you guys definitely had huge improvement from the first fight. Like, I, your guys' coordination was much more on point. Um, as well as maintaining uh, your target on us. Um, you guys jousting, which was probably good on you, because that doesn't end well with a hammerhead. <laughs> doing much more circle strafing, staying close and tight to me. Um, so you guys definitely made it a challenge for me to be able to break that contact and try my hardest to rotate my shields on you. It was definitely a challenge, and it, we practiced hard for it. Absolutely. Like, that first L really, we were real cocky going into it, too. I don't know if you watched the tapes on that one. We were like, ah, oh, we're going to pull this off, no problem. And then you you know, Kanga went down instantly, which he, you know, so he changed his strategy this time and he hung on the outer skirts and then started doing the missile thing on you, right? So you, you got us all thinking and, you know, Ed warned us that you were this aggressive hammerhead pilot, but in my mind, it wasn't a, a hammerhead that would fly and attack me like so goddamn aggressively like you were like Dr. Disrespect pushing on someone, right? Like it was just boom in our face and Kanga went down instantly and then it was one, two, three, and then we were done and star was left and the fight was done. And like, we just could not get back on you on that one too. You got thruster damage on me. So I could not aim either and stuff. We just fell apart. My comms were off for half of it too, which was really bad. And you can see in this one, I think too, that we worked real hard on comms, uh, in our training oh, yeah. to make sure that we were tight and it really paid off. The one thing I will say, I think you guys have the benefit on is it might not be the same, but it still gives you some practice. Is you can do um, bounty hunting missions that are, you know, AI, and you get the hammerhead. Exactly. There's a few things I can take my crew to prepare against an actual fire wink. Yeah, a swarm. Like, uh, what yeah. missions out there will attack you with, let's say, twelve, uh, uh, you know, mix of like bucks and you know, P fifty twos and stuff like that? You'd actually have to take them into like arena commander. Do multiplayer uh, pirate swarm, swarm, uh, spawn a hammerhead in, uh, get everyone into this. Like, it would be just ridiculous to set it up to have that type of play, but that's the only spot you could do it in. Actually, that, this is a fun tip. Um, most of my gunners actually use lag pip, they don't use lead. Smart. Smart. That's why last time the corkscrew wasn't working as well for us. We weren't executing it as well, but I felt a huge difference in your gunnery compared to this time. So that's, let's, let's call the third one, the rematch. When you are ready, you got your crew all, all sweaty and ready to go. And then we'll do the, we'll do the last one. I think long-term combined is going to be the only way to go. Um, I don't ever see a capital ship being able to just go out on its own and, uh, or at once. Um, I, I think long-term, I mean, you're always going to need that of large ships and fighters uh you have you know your large ships to put out that damage and you have those fighters to cover them exactly we were using as a rotation point dev dev brought this up later and he used you know like war zone style terminology like br terminology and we're like yeah that was a good rotation i was like oh you know what that is a really good point it is a good rotation that we did on that we were doing rotations just as if you were like moving back to plate as if it was like war zone or an fps and that, like, yep. thinking this more as, like, the esports side of it, too, is really interesting. All right. Well, I think that wraps it up there, Dev. Or, sorry, Zask. Uh, Dev, Dev. Oh, God. Dev, Dev, Dev. Me and Dev, Dev bonded real well in this. This is the first time I got to fly with him. Really enjoyed uh, uh, flying with him. We voted his line of, don't you die on me, the, the, the best line of the evening.
So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I will say uh, my turn a little salty after this one losing all their armor. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! We'll have to make it up for them. We'll have to make it up for them. That's fair. Sorry, I re I reimbursed them. I also really look forward to doing um, not only more of this type of engagement where we get you know Mike Dunner or active participation um, with there being you know targets all around us, but also the ops where we can work on our communication between you know me and Edsel and then me to my crew and Edsel to you guys. Yeah, that's a good point. The work you guys are putting in on that Gilded and uh, the value of Gilded shown on that the, the Shakedown cruise we did of Battle Group Celestial was really showed that off. I agree. That That is really good practice. We need to nail that down. The comms, I, I brought this up in another video I did too, and like it's something I've observed in esports in general, that you take two teams of relatively the same skill and it almost seems like comms is the difference between them in the end, right? Like it's a huge yeah. factor. Um, and it's been really fun. And oh man, like I am looking forward to flying with you guys and getting sweaty against the other teams out there because there are other teams. I just, you know, some of them, they're, they're still stuck, I think, a little bit in the more older mindset of the PU where PVP is maybe like a couple fighters outside of, uh, outside of PO. And, and that's going to change soon, man. All right, I think we'll wrap it up there, man. It, it was uh, really nice. Thank you for taking the time to chat with me too, Zesk. Again, to everyone on YouTube that eventually watches this, because I know I'm super famous. <laughs> uh, Captain Zesk of the Scimitar, he's part of the Skunk Works fleet. Uh, amazing person to play with, super fun. Love his attitude, brings it to the table too, right? The most aggressive, unorthodox hammerhead pilot I've met. We got lucky on this one. I think in the third matchup, it's going to be a lot more sweaty. And we'll, we'll discuss deployment too later. All right, Zask, any final words? Uh, that's all I got, man. All right, beautiful, buddy. I'm going to kill it here.